All right, how are you guys doing today? This is John Martinez, and I want to let you guys know this is going to be a bonus episode today. So usually months are set up with four weeks, and uh, we are in an awesome, spectacular month of October with five weeks. You can never get enough October. I mean, Halloween spirits seems a little longer than usual, which is pretty awesome. But anyways, so what I usually do is I will review two categories each week, and then on that fourth week, I'll give you guys a bonus episode. Now, this week's bonus episode is really fun because last year I was working at my daytime job, and I was able to talk to Thedeus Crane. He was an actor on The Walking Dead, and I couldn't interview him on the same time that I need to, so my mom got the duty of interviewing him, and it's pretty goddamn adorable seeing her uh, try to tackle being a journalist, reporter. So I thought that was pretty fun. So um, if you guys want to check out my mom interviewing Thedeus Crane from The Walking Dead, then I suggest you guys check this episode out. Also around this time last year, I was able to interview Linda Blair from The Exorcist, and she has fun little projects she's working on herself. So um, I really hope you guys enjoy the episode today. I know it's a little different. It's not an actual review, but like I said, there's a bonus episode each month. So um, remember, if you guys like my channel, just like, share, subscribe, you know, go nuts with it on any of your social favorite media, favorite social media sites. If I could speak correctly, that would help too. Can't speak Spanish. I apparently can't speak English either. So have a good one, you guys. See, what was the most fun you had on Walking Dead? Killing zombies. <laughs> Who is your favorite character that you got to work with? Rick. I know that's my <laughs> Light is bright. <laughs> Why are y'all Oh, it is a light. <laughs> I didn't know there's a light. What is it? Is it a video thing? It's just off of our phone, our regular phones. I just thought if this would work or not. Is it a recorder? Or it's what? recording you right now. What <laughs> upcoming projects are you working on? I'm practicing. What's this guy's name? I don't know. I gotta find that out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I had it down. He said he gave me the name. Sorry. <laughs> this is uh, Theodis Crane. I'm on the Blaze, 13:30 a.m. Uh, from The Walking Dead, and apparently some questions are going to be asked. What was your favorite um, character you worked with on The Walking Dead? My favorite character that I worked with on The Walking Dead, uh, character-wise, I guess I would say actual, actually, but uh, as far as acting goes. Uh, Andrew, it was really helpful for me to help us all really uh, prepare for our office. And what type of future projects are you have going on now? Uh, I got a couple things coming out that are uh, moving out at the end of, end of October slash beginning of November called The Starving Games. Uh, it's a spoof movie. Um, got a Christmas movie coming out on ABC Family called Christmas in Conway. Um, and the motel is coming out in June of next year. Okay. Well, that's all the questions I have. <laughs> all Thank <right>. you so much. <laughs>When most people think of the name Linda Blair, they picture that possessed girl turning her head 360 degrees, vomiting blood, and yelling obscenities. The poster child from the 70s horror era has long moved past her role in The Exorcist and began a non-profit organization helping friends that have not seen her work. One day I turned around and I saw my own little four-legged friends or two-legged friends that had laws in place. There's such animal crisis in America right now and it makes me very sad. Linda Blair retired from the Hollywood scene and began helping in various organizations that that focus on animal rights. She began working with the entire major networks, which eventually led to her own nonprofit organization. I formed uh, Linda Blair World Heart Foundation, found at lindablairworldheart.org in 2003, but I've been doing animal welfare since uh, 1984. Linda's goal is to reach community by community about issues such as spaying and neutering your pets, having enough compassion to prevent animal abuse, and she even thinks it's necessary to obtain a license for owning a pet. I want to go for licensing of people because pets can't do anything. They don't have enough digits to hold a license. <laughs> it's a joke. So be sure to check out Linda Blair's projects at lindablairworldheart.org. If you guys like the program, I hope you guys spread it through your favorite social media site. My name is John Martinez, and you are watching Whore Yourself Out. Have a good weekend.